The Philippines and South Korea share a strong bond, historically and presently. They have been and remain close friends in diplomatic and military matters. They are important economic partners, collaborating in trade, immigration, and tourism. Additionally, both countries are allies of the United States. Moon Sun Duk, considered as Korea's first person to learn the Filipino language, was able to use his interpretation skills, conversing with the five Filipinos who were shipwrecked off Jeju Island in 1801 and were able to return home after nine years. He was the first recorded Filipino interpreter in Joseon Dynasty. South Korea and the Philippines share a unique bond that goes beyond borders. Today, I'm exploring the 10 reasons why South Korea loves the Philippines. Number one, the Philippines was the first nation to send troops to South Korea during World War II. The Japanese forcefully imported Korean soldiers to the Philippines to serve Japan's occupation from 1944 until the end of the war. The Philippines was the fifth state to recognize the Republic of Korea and the first ASEAN country to establish relations with the new nation. During the Korean War 1950 to 1953, the Philippines sent its forces to aid South Korea. It was the first Asian country to respond to the call of the United Nations to help South Korea when it was invaded by Chinese and North Korean communist forces. Number two, South Korea is the sixth biggest trading partner of the Philippines. The Philippines is the third most attractive Southeast Asian country for South Korean investors in 2011. The Philippines and South Korea have signed a free trade agreement or FTA aimed at enhancing market access between the two Asian countries. With the FTA Inc., the Philippines expects that South Korea could open its market access to Philippine agriculture products, including tropical fruits. The partnership can also lead to strategic investments in priority sectors and industries, such as manufacturing and exports. South Korea is a major economic partner of the Philippines. In 2022, it ranked fourth to the Philippines in total bilateral trade, valued at around 15 billion US dollars, and sixth in total approved investments, valued at 90 million dollars. Number three, South Korea is top source of tourists in 2023. South Koreans remain the country's top tourists in the Philippines. Over 3 million international travelers visited the Philippines from January to July 19, 2023, with South Korea topping the list of source markets. The Philippines is a favorite destination because of its deep, short travel time and direct flights between the two countries. It takes around 4 hours to get from South Korea to Manila. There are also direct flights under five hours to famous beach islands in the Philippines. Among Southeast Asian countries, the flight duration is the shortest from South Korea. Flights between the two countries are cheap. Number four, strong military ties. Military relations between the two countries started during the Korean War, when the Philippine government sent troops to enforce the United Nations campaign against the communist coalition of North Korea and China. South Korea is an active arms donor and supplier for the armed forces of the Philippines. The growing defense partnership extends to joint military exercises with Japan and America. They have donated numerous military hardware to the Philippines in the past. The South Korean government also actively fulfills contracts for the Philippines for a variety of military hardware. These range from small arms, armed tactical vehicles, and many more. Number five, ease of doing business in the Philippines. South Koreans are among the largest groups of expats in the Philippines, followed by Japanese and Chinese nationals. The migration of Koreans to the Philippines began after World War II. In the post-war period in East Asia, Korea faced significant challenges in rebuilding, becoming one of the poorest nations during that time. 
Meanwhile, the Philippines, with assistance from its former colonizer, America, managed to recover swiftly and was one of the rapidly progressing countries in East Asia. This progress attracted Koreans to migrate to the Philippines. During the 1980s to the 1990s, South Korea experienced significant economic growth, mainly driven by their manufacturing companies. However, dissatisfaction with wages among South Korean laborers during this period led many South Koreans to seek better job opportunities abroad. As a result, a considerable number of South Koreans migrated to neighboring Asian countries like Japan, the Philippines, Hong Kong, China, all of which were also experiencing continuous economic growth. Many of the South Korean expats who had previously worked as laborers or faced challenging conditions in their home country decided to use their savings to establish small businesses including restaurants, grocery stores, and so on. Simultaneously, managers and CEOs from South Korean companies recognized the potential for investment in the Philippines. They too began migrating with their families, contributing to the growth of businesses managed by South Koreans in the Philippines. Number six, educational opportunities. From the 1990s to the 2000s and continuing today, there has been a notable increase in the number of Korean students choosing to pursue their education in the Philippines. This trend persists because studying in the Philippines is seen as a more affordable option to learn English compared to Western countries, especially Australia and America. Furthermore, the Philippines offers numerous scholarships to international students, a benefit that many South Korean students take advantage of. Another driving factor is the intense pressure and demanding education system in South Korea, which unfortunately contributes to a high number of student suicides annually. In contrast, South Korean students choose to study in the Philippines because they perceive the education system here as less stressful and more relaxed. Uh, however, thanks to this, I could meet a lot of other nationals with national friends and communicate with them. And I have to use only English. So it seems to when my English improved. And every weekend we used to go out and enjoy several life, like island hopping, eating waterfall, shopping, and looking around churches and temples. Actually, I did jump into water at the cliff and I still swim with whale sharp. It was my first experience. Um, actually, I didn't have much time, only two months, so I need an intensive study. Number seven, low cost of living. One of the main reasons why South Koreans prefer the Philippines is that it has an extremely low cost of living. It's easy to live a comfortable or extravagant life, even on a small income. Living in the Philippines will give them quite a bit of freedom with their budget as opposed to South Korea where the cost of living is generally high. With the affordable prices in the Philippines, South Koreans can eat out for every meal, head to an island for the weekend, and take a yoga class perhaps every morning. Number 8. Warmer Climate Many South Koreans like going to the Philippines to get away from the cold weather back home. The fact that the two countries are close makes it easy for Koreans to travel to the Philippines. In South Korea, there are four different seasons, but the Philippines has steadier climate with lots of sunshine all year round. This dependable warmth is like a safe and comfortable place for people who want a break from the unpredictable colder weather. Number nine, cheap labor. South Korean companies like investing in the Philippines because it's affordable to hire workers here. It's not just about saving money, they see the Philippines as a great place with skilled professionals who offer their services at a good price. Number 10. Cultural Exchange South Korea's culture has really caught on in the Philippines, especially with the K-dramas and K-pop. Whether you're in the busy streets of Manila or the calm beaches of Palawan, both South Korea and the Philippines have mixed up their food scenes with lots of delicious options. 
In the Philippines, people really enjoy Korean barbecue places, where local and Korean flavors come together in a tasty mix. On the flip side, Koreans have taken a liking to Filipino dishes like adobo, senegan, and asal, making for a yummy blend of cultures on their plates. In both South Korea and the Philippines, festivals are big events that celebrate different cultures and their shared history. Korean festivals have beautiful traditional costumes and amazing performances, and they connect with Filipino festivals, which highlight the colorful, diverse Filipino culture. There you have it, 10 reasons why South Korea loves the Philippines. If you'd like to add more, please write them in the comment section.